All right, welcome to a special edition of Heel Toe Corner Club. Today we're out at the TLX. I've got it lowered on some Tane Springs, the very first Tane Springs actually available for this car. And one of the things that always kills me about a lowered car on stock wheels is that hella sunk look. You know, we've got way too much space here between the tire and the fender. Now I've done videos before on wheel spacers, on the NSX and all this, I've done them. But here I'm gonna show you on the TLX. This is the first time I think that we've seen somebody with wheel spacers on one of these cars, at least with the stock wheels. So let's check it out and see what they look like with a couple of different sizes in place. Go wide. <laughs> All right, so inside the kit, you've got extra lug nuts and the actual spacers. Um, there you go, shark it open. So these are gonna bolt onto the hub. These nuts hold it onto the hub, and then the wheel bolts onto the new studs. Now don't panic when you get these. We got two uh, here that are the same size. These are, right, these are 20 millimeter spacers but on the outside of the box, it says 40. Jesus God, dude. I know. Truck people. 40 millimeter spacers, but they're not. It's actually two 20s. H&R spacers are actually available in silver and in black. You can see these are the 25s and these are the 20s. So there's quite a bit more thickness here. Okay, so you're gonna get some wheel spacers, but what size should you buy? Sometimes it's kind of hard to know, but a little bit of a ruler is all you need to line up against the tire measure against the fender and find out exactly how thick you think your spacers should be. They usually come in five millimeter increments, so it's pretty easy to nail down what size you're gonna get. Grab a little tape measure and put it against the fender and see what sort of spec you're looking for. And here, if I just sort of pick a place on the tire and look about where that would go up into the fender, get a little bit of a visual. It looks like between 20 and 25 millimeters is gonna get us pretty flush with the fender. 20 might be the safer bet. 25 would definitely look cool, but maybe pushing it. I'm gonna try 20s on one side and 25s on the other so that we can see the difference between that five millimeters and find out if it's gonna rub or not. So for the TLX, Type S, and A-Spec, you're gonna to wanna to get a five by 120 bolt pattern with the M14 by uh, 1.5 thread pitch studs. As far as the hub bore goes, I got these in the 64 millimeter hub bore that pretty much every other Honda is. I'm hoping I got that right. <laughs> Oops, hub size is wrong. Oh, hub size is right. <laughs> so the hub here, wants to fit inside the inside bore of the hub in the spacer. That's why getting that size right is important. Seats right on. The other thing you'll notice is these studs are poking out of the spacer. They've got to go somewhere in the back of the wheel. I am having some relief in the back of the wheels for those studs to go into. It's not very deep though, so I'm not really sure how close that's going to be. That's a standard 19, so you're gonna need a different. Oh, look, you can see the springs in there. Feel free to use your gun to run these nuts on, but you should always tighten them by hand. If you're wondering why I'm not using a torque wrench, it's because I lost it. <laughs> but um, if you use any wrench, and just hold it at about this length. I guess it's about a foot away. I mean, the, the factory tire iron is about that long. It's actually designed at a calibrated length so that you can push on it as hard as you want to and you won't over torque them. So as long as you hold the wrench in the same place each time and torque, and torque them down to the same sort of general weight, you've got your own calibrated torque wrench right there. Let's see if this wheel fits on. Try not to hit the calipers, right? These wheels are anything but light. Oh yeah, they're hitting the studs. 
basically, if the wheel isn't going perfectly flush against the spacer, it's hitting the studs inside and that's just not gonna work. Once we put the lug nuts down in there, they'll center it and hold it in the middle, but we don't want there to be that gap. Let's see if we can get a good witness mark. So I can show you. Yeah, see here? You could see where it was hitting. Here, there's no hit. Here, it touched a little bit, um, but definitely right there. So these high spots are gonna cause the spacer not to work. Now I could go in there with a grinder and take that down and make them fit. Um, that's not part of today's mission though. All right, let's go ahead and, even though this isn't quite gonna work with these wheels, we'll mock it up and see what it looks like just to kind of see what, what this spacer does to the look. Because while it doesn't necessarily work with this wheel, or it could work with this wheel, but definitely work with other wheels that have deeper recesses. Uh, it definitely bumped it out. So with an extra 20 millimeters, that's what you get. All right, just gonna relax the suspension here. All right, with the 20 millimeter spacer, we definitely have a much little fatter look going on here. And the tire is still inside the fender as it curves up, but you can clearly see that the shoulder is coming outside of the fender, which just gives a generally meatier look. And yeah, you can definitely tell with the, uh, with the ruler that we've come out quite a bit. So definitely this would be a really great spacer and it probably would be worth taking a little material outside of the back of the wheel if you knew you wanted to run these wheels. Or if you have the Y-spoke wheels, I think they're exactly the same specs as these ones. If you run into the same problem there, then uh, simply just take a little material and a 20 millimeter spacer and you've got a really tight look. So whenever you put the car on the ground, just realize that it's not gonna be set completely where it needs to be. You've got to roll the car back and forth a little bit to get the suspension completely settled. Twenty millimeter spacer has this looking really good against the fender. Yeah, it's a nice look. The 20 millimeters on the other side look really, really good. And actually the fitment looks nice. It could probably stand another couple of millimeters. So if we had a small three millimeter spacer to put on top, that would be a pretty cool thing to, uh, to try. But unfortunately I don't have any right now, but what I do have is these 27 millimeter spacers. Now, based on what the other side looks like, these are gonna be pretty meaty. So I'm not really sure how they're gonna look, but let's check it out, right? All right. 27's on. You'll notice when I tightened those, I didn't go in a star pattern. That's because I wasn't really feeling it right then. I'll tell you what, in terms of vibration, if you do it by hand and you do them all even, you're not gonna get any vibration. I don't think it really matters what pattern you go in. The long and the short of it is, torque, and even torque is much more important, I think, than the pattern in this particular situation. All right, you can see with these spacers, we've got much more meat and the studs aren't showing quite nearly as much. So we shouldn't have any interference issues with these ones. Right on. Well, that is definitely wider, but it is not so aggressively wide that I thought that, I was a little worried that it was gonna end up being a little too wide looking, but this actually looks really super cool. And one of the nice features about the PLX is 
that the fenders are already sort of rolled already. It actually looks like they're rolled already. So if you needed to buy a little bit more space here, it'd be pretty easy to do. I think that looks really cool. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm gonna break my own rule here. Only under hip hop supervision. It's on a Beastie Boys album. Which one? Yo, communication. Oh, okay. It's like, all right, take the turntable and spin the record, making it scratch back and forth, making it scratch. Don't try it on your own. Pops home stereo only under hip hop super the needle back and forth, back and forth, making it scratch. But let me tell you something don't try it at home with your dad's stereo only under hip hop supervision, all right? Yeah. Reserve judgment until you settle the tires. Oh my goodness. That is rather wide in the back. The tire is well proud of the fender. Huh. That's a little too much for my personal liking. All right, folks, that's H&R Track Plus wheel spacers on a 2021 TLX Type S. We got 27 millimeters up here. We've got clearance behind the wheel to accept that little bit of stud that's poking through. The next size down is 20. And as we know, if you're gonna use a 20, you're gonna have to remove a little material on the inside of the wheel. Unfortunately, that's just the way that it is. You can either grind away a little bit from the pocket or take a little bit off the studs. Either way, uh, if 20 is the look that you're going after, that's what you're gonna to have to do with a factory wheel. Now, we've got the 27 in the front. I think it looks amazing. In the back, 27 looks a little bit thick. I kinda of like the look of the 20 in the back. Um, that puts us back into the modify the wheel loop. Um, I guess it's totally up to you, but either way, 20, 27, or whatever, you can buy any of these on heeltoeauto.com, and I will definitely have links in the description of this video so that you can jump right to them and shop for yourself. I really thank you for watching this video. This TLX Type S has been a lot of fun to play with and I'm really glad to be able to share some of these products with you. One other thing about wheel spacers that you may not have thought of, this is a really great way to test uh, different size offsets and different size backspacing and, and all that for getting factory wheels replaced with aftermarket wheels. So if you're eyeballing some wheels and you're not really sure what size to go with, consider getting some spacers to do some testing and find out. That's exactly what I'm doing. So the next time you see a video with this thing involving wheels, it'll definitely have something really dope on there. Something more aggressive than stock for sure. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you read the description for a link to that product. Like and subscribe. We'll be doing a lot more content with this TLX Type S coming up. And we're really happy to have you. Have a great day. Heel Toes in your corner.